Waiting on you, Wade. Sounds like they're expecting us. Hey, Lucas, you got a banger for me? Give him me this. Hi guys, it's Gaming Evangelist here and today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the campaign of the latest Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Vanguard. I had this game on my list for a while but didn't got a chance to pick it up until recently. I just want to say that this is a casual gamer's review and not someone who deep dives into a game's nitty gritty and online aspects of it. It's just my opinion on how I felt the story mode of the game to be. Now if you've played other war games such as past Call of Duty campaigns or Battlefield games, there's not much difference in in the core gameplay. You have two gun slots and two throwable slots, you are placed in a war setting and in this case it's World War II. There are waves of enemies, tanks and artilleries that need to be taken out, a mission where you fly a plane and engage in a dogfight, a pelotra of weapon types, half of which you won't even use and last but not least, great cinematic in-game cutscenes. Let's talk about the goods first. This game truly feels big budget like any other Call of Duty game. The cast is awesome, from Mary of Lord of the Rings aka Dominic Monaghan to Czech Okokvo as Arthur Kingsley, all the way to veteran industry voice actor Laura Bailey as Polina Petrova, every character has played their roles to almost perfection. Christ, what is that smell? I chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, iron, iron. Big budget can also be seen in the missions with the level of detail put into creating the settings and the environment for the player to immerse in. From snowy wastelands in Lady Nightingale to the dense specific jungles in Numa Numa Trail, every setting feels rich with detail and creates a truly immersive and unique experience for all the players. Don't shoot! Damn you Kingsley, we pegged you as a crowd. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Now let's talk about cinematography. I have just one word to describe it. Stunning. Simply breathtakingly stunning. Every single cutscene in the game feels like a short film. Couple that with the acting and giving the cutscenes their time rather than just hurrying into the mission. These make for a great viewing for the fans. The 2019 Call of Duty Modern Warfare truly set the benchmark for stunning visuals and I can say that Vanguard stands right next to it. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. 
but all of this doesn't mean the game does not has its flaws. Let's start with the plot. The story revolves around a group of elite soldiers who venture behind enemy lines to learn about a secret project called Phoenix. Each alternate mission is a flashback story behind the characters on what led them to be part of this elite group. So you play as all these different characters in these missions and each character has a specific ability that you use during their missions to your advantage in the battlefield. All this is done while the villains of the game, the German Nazis, have held you captive and are trying to investigate you. The problem is that out of all the characters, only one kept me invested in the story and that is Polina. She is a Russian sniper who is fast and her mission Lady Nightingale is arguably the best mission and sequence of events in the entire game. All the other character missions felt flat and failed to keep me hooked as Lady Nightingale did. The setting of the missions was good but for the most part I was doing the exact same thing every mission. Which brings me to my second point which is linear level design. The game is strictly going from point A to point B apart from a few areas. Move to an area, kill a bunch of bad guys then move to another area, kill a bunch of bad guys and this keeps on going. There are no collectibles or no other rooms from where you can sneak behind enemies or no multiple routes you can take to get to your destination. Even the stealth sections feel as if the game forces you to take one single route to your objective. I would have really loved if the devs would have given players a little more freedom with respect to what and how you can choose to do missions. Oh and did I mention what a terrible experience I had flying the plane in the Battle of the Midway mission and chasing enemy planes? Coming to my next point, I also felt that the campaign is extremely short. It took me about a total of 5-6 to six hours in a week to complete this game. For a game that costs 90 Canadian dollars on a PlayStation 5 and 80 dollars on a PlayStation station 4 this is an extremely poor value for money and i recommend only picking it up if it's on sale yes it does come bundled with a zombie mode and a multiplayer mode but for someone like me who plays the campaign only i feel the 90 dollar price tag is simply too high overall i enjoyed the game a lot and if i had to give it a score out of 10 I would say this is a solid 7, but for me the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare series still remains the benchmark for card games and those were one of the best campaigns that I ever played and I hope the upcoming Modern Warfare 2 is as good as those original ones or even the 2019 Modern Warfare remake. I'm extremely hyped for its release and looking forward to reviewing it here on the channel with you guys once it's out. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers before the end of summer. Let me know in the comments of your thoughts on Vanguard and which Call of Duty campaign is your favorite one to date. For other campaign reviews for games such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Horizon Forbidden West, do check out the video section on my channel. Thank you and have a great day.